I walked outside and it just looked like a freaking tornado in our backyard. I was like, what? actually out there that night uh, after the storm blew through and it just looked like trees everywhere. Oh, yeah. Uprooted. Like everybody was saying tornado, but it's like, uh, they were saying straight line wind is what they were saying, but yeah. it seemed like trees were down every which way. You guys were helping our neighbors actually with their roof and you guys came to our rescue because they had two trees fall down and they fell into our yard <laughs> on our stuff. I woke up 7 o'clock that morning by the time I got home because I did some errands. They were picking up and packing up. I was like, who? I was expecting at least a couple of days. Brayden was there. Um, Wrangle. Wrangle was there. You can always tell Wrangle you have that mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Wrangle was there. <laughs> they helped clear up all the debris from the driveway and it couldn't have come at a better time because the storm hit and we were already in our cycle down at MD Anderson, Houston with kiddo over here on his um, linen trial. The guys picked up all the debris in the yard. They came and got everything. Thank you very, very much, Brayden. No you problem. guys are freaking amazing, amazing people. Like, just amazing for start to finish. Nah, I, agree. I definitely feel like I was there for a reason that day to be able to serve you. So I'm glad that we were able to get everything put together. And that's one less headache you had to worry about while going through everything that you yes. through. So. And I couldn't thank you guys enough. It gave me and the kids a chance to, you know, deal with what he was going through and we actually found all the whole family actually found their way back to church. So again, thank you guys. It was it's it's been an amazing journey.